Models, icons of humanity's true beauty. Many will attempt and few will succeed. But no man has made a bigger impact than Gabriel. Gabriel. One of the planet's most successful underwear models the universe has ever witnessed. He has been male underwear model of the year for four consecutive years. He's Victor's secret, highest paid model. He also has the most critically acclaimed APAC abs. From magazines to the runway, no rock is left unturned when it comes to his diversity in the arts. Let us experience Gabriel's journey in his own words, as he allows us into his luxurious, super mega, ultra, supreme mansion. You've been the most successful male underwear model of our generation. <laughs> I mean, just how does it feel? Thank God. Thank God for this beautiful face, you know what I'm saying? This will save my family, you know? Beautiful face, nice chopped abs, you know, beautiful chest. Thank God for my eight pack. I thank God for my glutes. My glutes are, are always in perfect, phenomenal shape. They could cut diamond. When did you first know that you wanted to be a male underwear model? Me, knowing, knowing how sexy I was, and you already know what you want to do. You already know you got some cut abs. You already know you got, you got some flame as some flame as uh, triceps. You know what I'm saying? I would uh, I would go, I would go in the washroom and I would look at the top models. I would look at the top models and I would try to imitate, you know, their poses. So I was trying to get it down to a science, where I understood underwear modeling to its fullest potential. But everything changed that one day that my father walked in on me. I'm gonna be famous one day. ¿Qué putas están haciendo aquí? Papá! ¿Cabezones de hombres? ¿Por qué? I'm gonna be a famous underwear model. Ah, más puto! ¿Qué chingada de eso, güey? He didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to think. He lost. He lost his mind. He lost his mind. Te voy a empatar tu madre, güey! I mean, I don't blame him. Shout out here for underwear model, Papa. So when your father found out that you were really pursuing this seriously, how did he take it? He disrespect me. He disowned me from the family. I am no longer allowed in family parties because he thinks I'm gay. But you're not gay. I just want to model underwear. That's all I want to do. That's what I tell my pops all the time. I tell them all the time, you know, you're not blessed like me, Papa. You can't. Think what you want, Papa. Think what you want. I don't need a fucking father. I don't need anybody. So when you first got signed to Victor's Secret, I mean, was it a huge deal? That was one of my dreams and it was finally accomplished. You know what I mean? Soon as soon as that happened, that changed my life. That changed my family. That changed everything. Well, at least to me, from my perspective. The minute I got home and I released the news, <laughs> who else? Dad, I finally made this underwear model. My sexy abs saved the family, bro. When I had told him the news, I was expecting, you know, I was expecting like what a father's reaction would be, which is, which is, you know, congratulations, son. You know, you finally reached success. You've finally accomplished your dreams. Good job! Say, mas puto! Tu pienses tu canzones va a pagar todo el pilis puto? Mas puto! Vete a escuela, wey! Está feo! Duele como caca, wey! Siempre! Lava las bolas, wey! Dad, I have an eight pack! No, es que vale madre! Está feo, wey! Duele siempre como caca y basura! ¡Mas puto! ¡Mas puto! ¡Mas puto! ¡Mas puto! ¡Mas puto! ¡Mas puto! ¡Mas but I don't care, Papa. I don't care. Whatever don't kill you, make you stronger, B. I'm sexy as hell. I got an A pack. Do you got an A pack? What about you? <laughs> you can't say that. I won awards. I won achievements. There was achievements for this. People don't understand the hard work, the tears, the blood, the stress, the feelings, and the ball sack sweat. 
Believe it or not, that's a big part. And if you're not comfortable with ball sweat, then you ain't comfortable with underwear modeling. People see it as like cream, as sugar. It's not like that anymore, man. The game's gotten serious. It's gotten serious. Look, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. One time, I was at a fashion show. And believe it or not, Channing Tatum was there. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Channing Tatum. I looked up to this guy. This is like... <laughs> <laughs> so I walked up to him. Yo, Cannon, yo. I, I had explained to him. I had explained to him and told him I was one of the background models for, for your show. I, I, I had told him. He turned around and he said, Good job, Roberto. Channing Tatum, my name is Gabriel. Gabriel. And I'm I was really hurt that day. I mean, I still got awards. I'm still super ripped. Fuck you, Tenny Tatum! Fuck you! Fucking piece of shit! <laughs> People just don't understand. People don't understand the hard work. So where do I fit in? I mean, does, does God have a place for underwear models? I mean, you ask yourself that. You ask yourself that. You. So you think God walks around balls hanging? Nah, God wears underwears. We all wear underwear, man. Everybody does. Every, everybody's in denial, whoever doesn't wear underwear. But me, <laughs> when I put them shits on, I make it look sexy, B. I make it look hot. Ba -ba! So you have a very interesting way of spelling the name Gabriel. It's usually not spelled with a Y, but it's G-A-Y-B-R-I-E-L. Why is, why is that? That's, that's a long story, Papa. I don't know if you're willing to sit down and listen to it. When I was born, my dad, my loving father, my loving dad, that I love so much. You have a beautiful baby boy. Oh no. Duele como caca toda. He said that I was crying like a little girl. It's gay. So that I was a gay baby. So he called me gay brio. That's how my name was. That's how my name came about. Gabriel. A fucking baby. A fucking baby is. I told myself I wasn't gonna. You know what? I'm done with this, Papa. I'm done, dude. I'm done. There ain't nothing else I gotta say to you, Papa. <laughs> so after all your hard work and sacrifice and everything you went through, what is the message you would give to all your fans and people who want to pursue their dreams the way you did? I mean, to all my fans, I'm talking to them right now. Yeah. Hi. Right. I mean, you gotta, you gotta concentrate on your sexiness. You gotta concentrate on how you pose. You know, especially how you present yourself. Looks, looks are important. Looks are really important. You know, you gotta concentrate on, on how you, how your clothes is, the quality of the texture of the clothes. You know, that's really important. But I thank God every day for my eight pack. Wait, what was the question again? I mean, believe in yourself, believe in your goals, Believe in your abs, but always follow your dream, even if your dad thinks you're gay. So just to clarify for everyone out there, you're not gay. No! Sir, excuse me, sir. Sir, how do you feel about your son's success? What son? I have no son! Vete a la verga, wey! Don't know that you're talking about, wey, cabrón. Sir, your son! Vete a la verga, wey! Gabriel!
Yeah, you gotta turn around. Turn around. Turn around.